You know, a few moments ago, I laid out our test for the education system. Are students leaving school with the skills they need to build good lives, successful careers right here in Ontario? And are we doing it in a fiscally responsible manner that respects parents? To pass that test, we need to see major changes in our curriculum. I'm proud to announce our government will implement a new math strategy over the next four years. Under our math plan, we're getting back to the basics, less ideology and more skills. Our strategy will emphasize financial literacy by finally including it in mandatory curriculum in high school. They need to know how to respect one another and themselves. They need to know how to use technology safely. And quite frankly, they need to know what healthy relationships look like. That is what our new age-appropriate health and physical education curriculum will do. Some concepts were being taught way too early. So we're going to raise the age on some concepts. But I assure you here today, we are going to keep them all in the curriculum. From kindergarten to grade three, we propose no changes to class sizes. And in grades four to eight, an average increase of just one more student in each classroom. Our older and more mature students in high school would see the most change, with class sizes increasing to 28. Our planned changes to class sizes will happen gradually over four years. And not one teacher, not one, will lose their jobs because of our class size strategy. It's very concerning that when you see class sizes go up, we're afraid that that opens up to more school closures and more mega schools and more mergers. And those are the things that are actually impacting students' education right now. Increasing class sizes to 28 does not help a child's learning condition. The government has uh, sent a pretty strong message to uh, parents in Ontario that rather than improving our education system and increasing the resources and the opportunity for, for our students to have one-on-one -on -one time with teachers, uh, they're rolling it back. They're creating bigger class sizes, less opportunity for students to get that kind of uh, support in the classroom. And I think that a lot of parents um, are going to be very, very concerned uh, after they hear this announcement.